Will my E46 start? What's happening people? How are you guys doing today? Welcome to the vlog of During the Whips. Today is the day that I'm going to be basically officially done with my car. Getting all wrapped and fixed up. So today is the day I'm going to be installing the bumper. As you guys already know that I had to drive home with the old bumper on. Because the frame on the bumper it's literally on the bumper. It's not on the car like the newer car like on the F30. The frame is actually on the car not the bumper. So yeah. I'm going to have to take off the uh, bumper again and then install the the newer bumper is in my car still I haven't taken out but yeah the car has been sitting here from like a week now and the last time I drove the car the car battery was dead so let's start up the car see if it runs still or I'm gonna have to jump the car and see if we start up let's see I hope so well is there lights oh yes there are lights the lights are on so that's a good sign so I, I mean I got power in the battery hopefully it's in a flower to start up the car Will my E46 start? That's a good sign. Oh. No copyright. Woo! I did not expect that. That thing sounds good. Whew. The headers, bro. Yep. Alright, so the car is running. That's a good thing. I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let the car heat up a little bit. I got the bumper in the back and uh, I still I still need to do a lot. I still need to install my mirrors. I still need to uh, paint the trims on the side and then I gotta paint my wheels again because the last time I painted the wheels, you know, the paint was sticking on it in Fresno. So yeah, I gotta, I gotta uh, get a power coated, oh not power coated, uh, sand, sand clean. I'm gonna get a sand clean, then I'm gonna get them, uh, I'm gonna do plastic first, then I'm gonna paint them. I'm gonna see which uh, plastic up I like, then I'm gonna paint them. I was thinking to sell these wheels because I didn't like them, but I, I kind of low-key like them in a the black color. So let's see. And now let's go to Mike. Mike is my friend who's gonna help me install the bumper. So let's go to his house and get the bumper installed. You might be a car guy, but after you go catless, those fuels when they come in your car, they're good for a while, but after, I can't breathe right now. My throat's hurting already. The fumes are really bad, even though my AC is off. See, no AC, there's no, like, no AC is off. But they're still, they're still pretty goddamn bad. Oh my God, I can't, I can't breathe, you guys. <laughs> I have to let my windows down, but it's cold outside. The weather is actually pretty nice in California today. As you can tell, whew, that's a really nice weather. You usually don't get that. It might be a good day for clicking some pictures. Pops. I gotta get the tune for the pops you guys. That will coming soon. That will be coming soon Yes, so we finally made it to Mike's garage He's already got his other car stand up But yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this bumper off then get the other bumper out and see what we What can we do from there? But yeah, he's gonna work his magic hands on the car. Say hi to the channel Mike <laughs> All right, let's get to work
this is the this is the problem that I was facing. See, this is a frame that's supposed to be on the car. The new cars, they usually put it on the car, but now the old cars were like supposed to be made like this, I guess. And uh, see this revis right here? They're not screws, they're like into the bumper. So we're gonna have to find a way to get this off and put it on the new bumper. As you can tell, the new bumper doesn't have a space to put anything on the top. So yeah, we're gonna see how this is gonna work. And then Mike's gonna work his magic hands and get this thing on my car and get me on my, on my way. So we made a little progress right here. So the bumper, this thing, the frame is actually connected to this plastic uh, trim right here. And that trim uh, won't come off. Uh, we got no idea why. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the bumper and figure it out and see uh, if this thing is actually connected to this. See, it moves actually. I can move with one hand, but yeah, that's the most I can move with one hand. But yeah, so let's see how long till we get this thing and that off because we're trying to get both of these off and then just put it in the new bumper so we don't have to uh, get the glue or something to put it on because like there's no space you know so yeah let's see so what we're gonna do is cut the bumper and get this frame out and put the sucker back on the car Bumpers are all torn apart. <laughs> we still, we still don't kind of see nothing, right? <laughs> well, better than what it was. Found it. All right, so it was actually the clips that were holding up the frame and the yes, plastic. but it just it's not these. These uh -huh. are from this one to clip onto this bumper. That's the one. But the then there's other ones that go into this plastic. Yeah, piece they're actually you hiding behind it. Yeah, they're hardened behind it. You can't really see them. So we okay. have to cut through the bumper to see those. Absolutely. But yeah, we're making progress now. Cut that thing on, but uh, there's nothing that's holding the frame, so we can't really do nothing about it. So we're gonna probably glue, glue it on and uh, see how it goes. But uh, yeah, the frame is it's literally perfect. It literally goes on the bumper really nice. And we're gonna cut the hold through the here to get the bolts in. That's gonna hold on to the you know these weird looking things that comes out of my frame. And yeah, hopefully we'll get the bumper on today because it's gonna rain like another 15, 20 minutes. It doesn't, might not look like it because it's California, but yeah, it's gonna rain pretty quick. I don't know if you can see the the rain coming out of like my side of the town. But yeah, let's see, get this thing on and head back home before it gets dirty with the rain. I might do some donuts here if it rains. All right, guys. So, as you guys already know, the bumper is actually, the frame is actually in the bumper now. So, the thing is, my car is opened up, like my car. It's actually, uh, we had to take the bumper off and the bumper's off, so I can't really grab this thing. And uh, Mike can't uh, take his, any, his car and go grab the stuff to put the bumper back on. So, we're waiting on Ramen to bring me the silicon so he could put the bumper on the car. But, uh, the weather was actually pretty nice. And I could literally hear the clouds coming my way and it's gonna rain pretty soon and we're not used to the rain so I'm just waiting for rum to be here before the rum, uh, the rain starts so we can stall a bumper and be on my way but let's see how long till he's here and we can stall a bumper and get my, on my way so I'm just sitting in my car right now so I'm gonna get the windows up so I won't get no uh, water in the car so yep it's gonna be a long day today <laughs> so yep it got pretty cold like it's literally freezing now and uh, my nose running already because it's literally freezing and like five minutes before it was like sunny and it was like warm and it felt pretty good but yeah Mike's in the back still working on his bumper he don't want to work here because uh, it might uh, rain and we don't want to get the bumper wet and shit right so yeah the car actually looks pretty good without the bumper too but yeah I kind of want to see it with the bumper because I think it's going to look better with the bumper <laughs> so yeah let's see he's working his magic hands on the uh, the bolts to get 
like you know get lined up with this thing right here and the frame too on the top and he's cutting cutting pasting doing his thing but yeah i'm waiting on my boy ramen to get me the the silicone so we could swap the bumper on and there comes my rescue my rescue so we got the frame in but it's not like all the way in yet we're still gonna put the silicone on it but mike made these uh, frames or not well, brackets brackets and this is how it's gonna, gonna go so the bracket is gonna go on the frame on the top like that and the other one's gonna go onto the side and uh, we're gonna make a hole in the bumper and it's gonna hold from there and the top so my bumper wouldn't be you know loose in any condition like I said, Mike know what he's doing. <laughs> There's always a way to custom manufacture a piece to make what you need work, work. Show that. And there goes the bolt and see, That's a gorgeous the brackets bit. are actually, yeah. So we're just going to cut the hole right, right here. Yep. And, and then it's just notched around this trim right here so that way it doesn't catch this trim piece. Uh -huh. This trim piece is separate. Yeah. It, it does come off separately. It's a separate piece. Mm -hmm. We didn't want to capture that with this bracket, so we made sure we notched around that. So we mm -hmm. got a good fitment there. Now we're just going to drill in through. And in the long run, what you'll be left with is holes that will actually come through on the inside beside there. the grill. Yeah. They'll be kind of down here, and as long as we keep them short, they won't uh -huh. really be noticeable. All but right then. They will keep everything in place really well. All right. Now let's put the silicone on and the. Uh, the frame in and then cut the holes and then put the bracket back on i'm not going to record the whole process but i'm just sh show you when we put the bumper back on say hi to him <laughs> what's up guys we back in here again he came in clutch for the silicon all right guys well got the silicon in Go time, boys and girls. getting ready to put this thing in i usually don't help i usually just look at him doing Yeah, Mike, the clip's out. Huh? See the clip? It's out. That all right, so I'm leaving the car here, taking the Alpha, dropping him off at work. So I'm taking the Alpha home, and uh, we're gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to bring the Alpha back to his work. Then he's going to drop me here to uh, Mike's house, and we're going to pick up the car with the bumper on. So, like I said, I was going to waste the whole day on this thing, and it is what it is. But yeah, the car is going to look good with the bumper on, and uh, let's go now. And I'm gonna just come back when I start driving back to Mike's house and then I'm gonna start recording. Cause the skeleton is gonna be a while till it dries off. All right guys. So we are back at Mike's and it's 5.20. And he got the bumper, it's better than what it was. And let's get rolling and get the bumper off the car. guys as you can tell the car looks actually pretty goddamn amazing well all thanks to mike for helping me on this he's still trying to get the bolts in but yeah the car looks pretty amazing only thing that's left is the mirror caps that's the only thing that's left i gotta do and that's it just here it is yep she's looking so great oh, we couldn't get the fog lights in too so i gotta figure out how to get new lights and thanks to mike thanks to ash and big thanks to cheek glass techniques for helping me on this wrap this wrap is amazing the work's been amazing mike's been amazing to me ash has ash been there all the time when needed to get the stuff done on this car i'm ready to drive home and get the day over i gotta go to this party after this i can't speak <clears throat> i gotta get to this party after this and i'm gonna enjoy my saturday thank you so much for watching peace out Please subscribe. Right, Mike?
please subscribe. Peace. <laughs>